Shalom Rastafari. I just checked out this site right here. This site is uh, Rastafari Renaissance dot wordpress dot com. It's a must check out site. Um, let's just go to the top. This is a very beautiful site. We're going to just scroll past this um, and let's get to the top of the site. It's almost like a one stop, a one stop um, trying to avoid talking about shopping. You know what I mean? But one stop searching, right? Right here. Um, we don't know who has put this site together, but definitely. I and I thanks and praises to the King of Kings in the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach, Getachin Yesus Christos, for the I, them, that are responsible for this particular site right here. It's really a benediction for I and I, Iritz, to come across this particular site right here. You know, house study for the assembly. It's really well put together, well tagged, and also dealing with the Padasha. I would like to even make a link to this site at INI Main LOJ Society dot O R G. You know, and if we've missed the I then email, you know, if ones and ones has emailed or linked I and I it's just the labor, you know, the harvest is ready and the laborers are few and and it's not to make an excuse but pray to I. Just forgive I and I if I and I has missed the I them email on this site, speaking about the proprietor of this particular site, Rastafari Renaissance, our wall. It's a site for the blind eyes, for I and I who are blind to that half of the story concerning I and I um, royal culture, I and I divine heritage. Allow me to introduce this dissemination, right? This dissemination. A very beautiful, my brothers and sisters. Um, whoever and all who are, you know, responsible for this site, um, we just give thanks and praise. And we wanted to just do a quick vid right here, the 24th Parsha um, study, right? 24th Parsha study and some of the beautiful layout and artwork right here, right? The emperor and empress, the king of kings and the queen of queens, the Ethiopia, of Ethiopia, our divine heritage, right? And we give thanks for the link right here to the society, right? Um, but before we even saw that, we was just, wow, we like our wool and some of the pictures, some of the rear pictures and artwork, as well as the, let's see right here, I welcome you to one of the many uh, of the interpretation of the scripture from the light of Rastafari by I. Lij uh, um, Yefti, right? Pronounced Lij Yefti. So heal up to Lij Yefti. Lij Yefti. Miskana, 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 Le Ababa John Hoy, Le Abba Kedus, 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 Begay Tachin, Nam, Bemidhana Tachin, Yesus Christo, Sim. Give thanks and praise in the name of I and I, Godfather, the King of Kings. And through the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior. So this site just has, it's just, it's just packed with a lot of very, very good um, information. It's like a one-stop link for all the eyes and eyes them. And it seems like very good reading, right, for I and I, you know, um, building up and breaking down what needs to be built up and broken down. The Inglesinia, Bamarinia, um, the Ibraist in the Hebrew as well, right? Uh, whoa. And so we're still going through the site right here, some of the pics, right, for I and I. We can see I and I cells, right, even through them artwork, right? Much of them artwork, uh, Bezaliel right here, one who made the Ark of the Covenant, right, and some of the classical artwork, you know, showing the different colors of the of the garments, right? And you see that red, white, and blue. Then we get to understand why what is done is done, you know, and that our eyes begin to open, right, through the grace of the King of Kings and His Christ, the four tabernacle coverings right here concerning the sanctuary, that which delights Abba Kedus, Kedus, Kedus' heart, 
right? Um, the priestical functions, right? Um, the beauty of his uh, sanctuary, right? When we talk about the tabernacle, let's recognize what the true tabernacle is about. Do that which is pleasing to the king of kings in the garments, right? And I, the priestical garments as well. This site is just wonderful, my brothers and sisters, you know? Um, and I just had to do a, a quick vid, as I'm doing right here, a quick vid showing and highlighting you know, some of the links, the burning bush, well, not the burning bush, but actually the, Shekin, the, the Shekinah. It's the same, coming from the same source, of course, but here now is with the tabernacle. As you can see the tabernacle right here. Awo, amen. And, and uh, the constellations, the heavens, you know what I'm saying, showing forth that glory. So we're going to get into this page a little bit more as well and seek to link up with those and those and ones and ones who are responsible for this site. But we just give thanks right now. I want to encourage all ones to check out this particular site, right, as well, and link it with other um, ones and ones whose eyes um, have been blind or don't know the half of the story so they can know the half of the story. The altar of, of Aishans, of incense, right there, with the Kana Bosom, the a consecration of the priest, you know, right, of the priest, of the high priest, right, Moses, right, Musa, the golden calf, you know, concerning that. And the various different parishes are well, well presented right here, you know, showing with the graphic, with the art and the facts as well right there. Get this right here. And we're just even just halfway through this particular site. Right, you know, from ancient Egypt, you know, and the garments of the of the Hebrew, the Judahite high priest, right, um, for the daughters of uh, Sion, the Shushan Purim. So this is for the daughters then. Daughters, you're not left out. No time, no time, black woman and child, right, and for I and I schedule the holy days. So we recognize the way, the truth, and the life. And as we go forward, the prophetics concerning Babylon and the different ages, so we can more rightly um, interpret and um, rightly divide the word of truth. Right? So we go through this. Let's continue to scroll down. So one can understand the prophecies, these prophecies in this very time, and we don't have to be deep-ending upon um Gentile, um, Western mis mis -trans misinterpretations, lost in translations. So we're just scrolling through. This is where we began off. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. There I will meet you and I will speak with you in the holy, the holy um, Mishkan, the Dinquan, the Meganano Dinquan. That is figured right there. Right, the layout. Right, so when we talk about, you know, I and I heritage, I and I divine heritage, we need to understand what all these things mean. This is our inheritance, brothers and sisters. This is I and I inheritance, Arastafari. Right here, the breastplate, the gems, the jewels. I, he says, I and I is poor, right? He knows our poverty, but I and I is rich. Right? This is our divine heritage. I and I is rich in the King of Kings and through his Christ. The priesthood, you know, the singers and the players of instrument, the link with Ethiopia, I and I divine heritage right there. As well, the Ark of the Covenant. You can see where they try to counterfeit it, where they put up the counterfeit rock in a sense, but we can see what it comes from. Right? This is our divine heritage, the Ark of the Covenant. Right? And we go forward, go forward a little bit more, a little bit more. Cha, judgment, right? Cha, the judgment, right? And then a little bit more right here, beautiful, beautiful, right? And then that meal, the Seder, the Fasika, the Pesach, Seder right there. You see it, right? That Ethiopian cuisine, <laughs> Wow, 
uh, first fruits, the barley harvest, the resurrection, right? That resurrection in its season. I will, and and here we go, coming to the fullness right here. So, brothers and sisters, I'll probably touch on this in a little more detail. I right, the Exodus, so we can get that spiritual intel on I and I coming out of the North Country in this present time and dispensation. Listen, this page actually continues to go on. It seems like it's going on for a little bit more, and we're just moving through this at a lively pace. Rastafari, are you a Hasid, Orthodox Jew? Right? Are we? What does this? What does it mean? We need to study. We need to understand these issues. These are very important. Right? These are very important issues right here. As we can see, all this is part of I and I culture. Right? All this is part of I and I culture. Um, Hibbert, I think Joseph Nathaniel Hibbert. Right? This is Joseph Nathaniel Hibbert. Hibbert, yes. Uh, all right. We go forward. And see within the the star of Jacob, the Magen Yaakov, right? And you can see it even again right there. They call it the Magen David, but these are all ancient, ancient, ancient symbols. So this is your divine heritage, brothers and sisters, and many of our brothers and sisters like uh, Lij uh, Yef, Yefti. Right, if I'm correct, has helped to lay it out right here for us. I and I language carved in stone, testify, right, to I and I anciency, as well as giving living testimony to who we be, even in this very time, in this uh, diaspora, right, in the diaspora, right there yeah, as well. The holy flag, Rastafari, the children of Solomon. Right. Okay. And go through some of these books here. Other works. Um, black, white, and Jewish. Right. So we really can know who we are. You know. So there's a bunch of study here. Right. So please check out this page for the eye themselves. Right. As we will probably do a couple of more vids on this particular page and take some time to. The 16th Parsha study. So each of the Parsha, the Torah portion studies, seem to be already up here for the I them perusal. All right? Black Moses, Ethiopian Muse. If we had just more time to just touch on this individually, we we almost can can even stop just viewing and just keep scrolling down the page. And just looking at the wonderful artwork, but take the time to read the word, because that word that cleanses us, the Song of Moses, right, right, and uh, the battle against the Amalek Awiyan, right, the 15th Torah portion, right, as we continue coming to the very, I think they're doing it in in the order, which is very good, the order right here, right, the et. Uh, you can see that right there. Uh, the doorpost. Right. To dread or not dread. <laughs> right. Regeneration of I and I people's inheritance. Beautiful. Father and child, father and son. It's a Babylon traffic rob I and I of. He helps in the, I think it's the Bahitawi. This is the Bahitawi. Priest of Ethiopia. So we can know our true roots from which it came, right, what I and I represent, and even the anciency of it. You see, it says, in the last days, before the end of this Gentile world system, it says the truth would, 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 would come out of the earth. So all of these ardent facts and things they try to bury and hide are coming to light, right, are coming to light in this fulfillment of this particular time, my brothers and sisters. Awo, amen. So this side here, Rastafari Renaissance, I would strongly advise and, you know, just recommend, I recommend, and I recommend this site. 
And once again, Wendem, Wendem Oach, give thanks, right? Give thanks and and pray. Stay tuned for more to come. Shalom, Ras Tafari. <laughs>